greetings everyone welcome to our channel today we're going to talk about our step motor controllers smsd 1.5 and smsd 4.2 series smsd series are intended for controlling two and four phase hybrid stepper motors smsd 1.5 series are designed to operate with stepper motors with maximum current per phase up to 1.5 amps SMSD 4.2 series are designed to operate with stepper motors with maximum current per phase up to 4.2 amps. Input voltage for SMSD 1.5 is from 12 to 30 volts of direct current and from 12 to 48 volts of direct current for SMSD 4.2. In order to set the suitable for the motor current per phase on the SMSD series a built-in potentiometer is used on the dean case version of the controller potentiometer responsible for the current per phase settings is based on the front panel on the metal case option of the controller this potentiometer is based on the right side stepper motor controllers smsd 1.5 and smsd 4.2 series are available in three different types first type is a standard smsd controller mounted into a metal case for receiving the command it uses a usb input which is basically a virtual com port other two types of smsd controllers are produced in a plastic din case one of them is operated via rs485 and the other one via rs232 interface the design of the case is the same, they only differ in the name on the label and the interface they support. Different cases can be mounted in different ways. Metal case might be mounted or screwed using two special holes on the sides of the case. Plastic cases are intended to be mounted on a standard DIN rail. Control modes and options. There are three control modes provided. Manual, simple driver and the controller mode. Controller mode has two sub modes. Pre-programmable mode when the program is stored inside the controller and direct control mode when Controller is operated directly from the computer. Microstepping options. Both of the controllers allow to use neither a full step or divide it up to 2 or 16 times. The only difference is that SMSD 1.5 allows us to divide one step to 8 and SMSD 4.2 one step to 4. Change of microstepping settings is done mechanically using the switches on the side of the controller. A chart of supported microstepping options is printed on every controller case. For example, if we want to divide one step into two, we need to turn off switch number three and turn on switches number four and five. So we turn off switch number three by putting it into upper position switches 4 and 5 are turned on in the lower position this way the controller is set to divide each step into two and one full rotation of motor shafts takes 400 steps how to operate in manual mode first of all we need to set up current per phase we are going to be using a 2.8 amp stepper motor so we are setting the potentiometer into the needed position. After that we set the needed operational mode. In order to set it into manual mode we have to switch on the switch number 1 and switch off the switch number 2. On and off. Next we have to set the micro stepping settings. Let's use one full step. That means we have to Turn on switches number 4 and 5. After that we need to connect the motor itself and power supply to the controller according to the manual. 
in order to use reverse we need to connect a reverse control button it can neither be a button a switch or a some kind of sensor in this case we will be using a simple limit switch without no fixation uh, because reverse is uh, operated via front level signal in order to start the motor in manual mode we have to push the start button and while the motor is running we can control the speed of rotation uh, by turning the potentiometer to stop the motor we need to press the start button driver mode in this mode controller replicates a simple SMD series driver and needs step direction and enable signals to be operated in this mode controller acts as a driver and can be operated neither from a PLC other controllers uh, a computer with a LPT port or a optical encoder with a quadrature signal output let's try operating in driver mode from an optical encoder each full rotation of this encoder generates 100 pulses with micro stepping settings set to 1 the encoder needs to be turned twice in order for the motor to perform one full rotation so let's check this one two by changing the micro stepping settings we can get a smoother rotation from the motor. Before micro stepping was set to 1. Let's change the micro stepping settings to 16. In order to do this, we have to put the fourth and fifth switch into off position. When each step is divided 16 times, rotation of the shaft is much smoother. This way we can get positioning to be more precise. Controller mode. In this mode, controller can neither operate from a pre-loaded program in pre-program mode or use direct control from the contributor in direct control mode. Program stored in the controller is always executed consequently, one program at a time. Until the current command is not fully executed, the controller we will not start the execution of the next command. Controller can operate in standalone mode without no PC connected to it. The loaded program will be stored in the controller even if the power was switched off. In direct off. control mode, commands are not being stored in the memory of the controller but are being executed at once. A connected computer is essential for this mode. But in this case, if the power is switched off, the program will be lost. To operate a standard controller with a USB input, we're gonna need a standard USB cable. One end goes to the controller and the other one is connected directly to the PC. But before doing that, you need to install SMC program available for free from our website and set up the drivers. Let's start operating in direct control mode. First of all, let's put a check mark into direct control dialog box. After that, we need to enable power on the motor winding. After that, we set the rotation speed and the amount of steps we need to be performed. While the motor is running, we can change the direction of rotation or the speed of the motor on the go. In order to start pre-programming the controller, we have to uncheck the direct control box.
Every program should start with a standard header. In order to place one, press the green arrow button. After that, as an example, we can set the starting speed of the motor. In order to do that, we need to change the V0 value. Let's uh, leave it to 1. Let's also set the maximum speed to 1.5000 steps per second and change acceleration value to 500. And don't forget to set the amount of steps we need to get performed. What we really did forget is to set the direction of the rotation. Let's make it rotate backwards. In order to change the position of the command, just click and drag it to the needed place. In order for our motor to perform a smooth stop, we need to set a negative value for the acceleration settings. Placing this command here means that the motor will start decelerating only it after it has performed 5000 steps from the previous command. Having set the deceleration ratio, we also have to set the final speed. In this case, the V0 value will stand for the final speed of the motor. We also have to set the total amount of steps needed to finalize the sequence. Let's make it one and a half thousand. In order to end any program, we have to press the button with the green arrow and OK sign. After that we can load the program to the controller by pressing the send button. After loading the program to the controller, it can work in standalone mode. In order to start the program, just press the start button. And here you go. The controller just finished executing the program. We can also set this program into a loop. For instance, uh, we need to repeat this program three times, but each time we would need to change the direction of the rotation. In order to do that, we need to place a mark that will show from where the program should be repeated. Let's drag it to the very top, right over here. We also need to delete the next line and we need to place a mark saying that the program will reverse at the end of each cycle. After that we have to set the number of times we want it to be repeated. In this case let's make it 3. A quick check that the program ends correctly and we can send it to the controller. Let's start the controller and see what comes out. As you may see, the motor is repeating the program, changing its direction every time. Thank you for watching, please subscribe and don't forget to hit the like button if you like the video.